These tender smoked beef short ribs are so good you'll wish you had made more of them. Start out by patting dry your beef ribs. Next we need to trim the fat off of the top of our beef ribs. And we want to remove any silver skin that is on there. We do this because the fat and silver skin will not render and it will hinder us from getting a great bark. For our seasoning today we will be using kosher salt and black pepper. Salt helps to draw moisture out of the meat helping us to get a good bark and it is great for enhancing the flavor of the meat. Pepper gives us a very nice spice, it helps us build a good bark and gives us a traditional dark color that smoked barbecue has. Make sure to get all sides of your meat when you're seasoning and then once you're done, let it sit out and rest for about one hour. What's up you guys? So today we are making beef ribs. Beef ribs are like brisket on a stick. They're super rendered, beefy, smoky, salt and peppery. But since this isn't gonna smoke for like 16 hours like a normal brisket would, and they're short ribs, so they're gonna cook a little bit faster than a big rack of like those dino ribs would. For the first two hours of this cook, I'm gonna turn it on to the extreme smoke setting. This will run my smoker at anywhere from like 170 to 190 degrees, and it's gonna produce a lot more smoke than it typically would. When you smoke meat, the majority of the smoke flavor that is in your meat is captured in the very beginning of your cook. So we're gonna run this two hours, low smoke mode and then I'm going to turn it up to like maybe 250 275 to finish this out run it off that fat fill up a good bark and create some amazing beef short ribs so let's go ahead and open up our smoker and I'm just going to place these on here in the center of my smoker in no particular order and that's all that we're going to do today this is going to be super simple and easy I'm not going to check these at all for the first two hours I'm just going to let them go right out I know they're going to be perfectly fine I'll see you guys at the two hour mark. I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. These beef short ribs have been on our smoker for two hours now in that extreme smoke setting. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. As you can see, it has a really nice red color. It's starting to darken up really beautifully. That bark is starting to really form. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this down and we're gonna turn up the temperature to 250 degrees to kind of quicken up this process of it getting up to around 200 degrees. And it's gonna help us render down that fat. I have no idea what the internal temperature is as of right now. I know it's not even close to being done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this roll at 250 degrees for about one hour. And then I'll come back out and check around that three hour mark. I don't feel like this is starting to dry out at all. So I'm not going to spray it. I might or I might not. I'm just going to play this one by ear and see how we're looking. I'll see you guys soon. We are now at the three hour mark on our beef short ribs. I already opened it up and took a look at it just a few minutes ago. And it does need to be sprayed a little bit in my opinion. So I went ahead and I made this mixture of 50-50 apple cider vinegar and water. I do the 50-50 mixture because if you just sprayed straight apple cider vinegar on there, especially on beef, I think it's going to give that a little bit of that acidic flavor, which I do definitely don't want on my beef. If you have beef broth, that's a great thing that you could use. You could just put some beef broth in here and spray it down with that. I don't have any, so I'm doing this mixture today. As you see, guys, we're probing right around that 165 mark. So these are probably in their stall right now. They're going to start to release a lot of those juices, which is going to help to keep them a little bit moist. And depending on how the outside looks, I will wrap or won't wrap. I have no idea yet. But let's go ahead and get these sprayed down with our mixture. We're just going to go ahead and do a light spritz across the top and sides over all of these. So now that we got it shut back down, three hour mark, I'm going to come back out and probably about uh, 30 minutes to an hour and I'm going to check them again and see if they start to get a little bit too dark you know if it takes on too much smoke it could become not the great tasting and I don't want it to dry out at all so if I wrap it I don't know yet it's just going to be solely based upon how it looks I've made these short ribs in the past and I haven't wrapped it and they came out great but hey every cook is different so you just need to keep that in mind when you're making these at home so I'll see you guys at the next step it is now the four hour mark on our beef short ribs. So let's go ahead and open up this pit and see what we're looking like. As you see, we're temping right around the 180 degree mark, which means that we still have about maybe a good hour or so left, maybe a little bit longer. I really want to hit around that 200 degrees. That is when the probe starts to just slide right in and out like butter. We're going for tenderness here. We want to render all this fat on our beef short ribs. It's looking like I'm probably not going to wrap. This cook is speeding up fast enough for me to be comfortable to leave it unwrapped. I am going to go ahead and spray this one more time with a little bit of our apple cider vinegar mixture. So let's shut it down and I'll probably come back out maybe every 30, 45 minutes until we hit that 200 degree mark. I'll see you in about 45 minutes. We are just a little bit over five hours on our beef short rib. Let's open up the smoker and see what they look like. And as you can see, we're probing some of these here. We're hitting right up in the very high 190s. Some of these are hitting just a little tiny bit past 200 degrees, 201, 202. I'm actually gonna take some aluminum foil 
foil and I'm gonna put these beef short ribs in there. This is gonna help them carry over a couple degrees. It's gonna help break down some of that fat in there, make it render real nice. And then we're gonna let them rest in that aluminum foil until about, I would say they're at around 140 degrees. That's the ideal temperature to serve meat. That might take about an hour, maybe 30 minutes. I'm not really worried about time right now. I just wanna make sure that we give this enough time to cool down and soak back in all those juices. So I'll see you at the dinner table when it is time to tear into these. What's up you guys? Welcome to my dinner table. We are ready to dig into these beef short ribs. Take a look at the bark that we have accumulated on these beef short ribs. These look absolutely smoky and delicious. Let's dig in. Before I dig into these beef short ribs, let's do a quick recap of what it was that I did today. To make these beef short ribs, we just trimmed off the silver skin and the fat from the top. And then we seasoned this with kosher salt and black pepper. We super smoked these for two hours and then cranked it up to 250 degrees for just over three hours. At that point, we reach our internal temperature of around 200 degrees. Then we wrap these in foil and let them rest for about 45 minutes until they reach down to an internal temperature of 140 degrees. At which point you now see my fat face and we are ready to dig into these. Look at these, peel right off the bone. Oh my goodness. Let's take a bite. Dude, mm. the very first thing that I taste when I eat these beef short ribs is that peppery bite. We season this with just salt and just pepper because that's all we need on these beef ribs. Then I really get a good hit of that smoke that just penetrates this beef so perfectly. Take a look at the smoke ring that we have on these beef ribs that we got from our super smoke setting on our smoker. All the pepper that we put on here also really got us a good bark. Just super delicious. There are so many things that you could do with these beef short ribs. You could shred them up and put them in tacos, mac and cheese, or you could just eat this plain with like baked beans and cornbread and just eat a good old barbecue dinner. These are beef short ribs, and if you want to see big beef ribs smoke, check out this video right here. I well, hope you guys have had a great day, night, whatever time it is when you found this video, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next uh, beef short rib.